You've been asking for this video for a really long time, so here it is. Jeremy Knight, the Knight Group, your favorite Austin realtor. Today we are talking about Dripping Springs versus Lakeway. We have so many clients that reach out to us and ask about these two areas, especially since I moved to one of them. This is a video that's near and dear to my heart because when we left Circle C recently, about a year ago, we heavily looked at Dripping Springs and we looked at the Lakeway area. The reasons why people are moving to this area, which are primarily the school districts, is probably high on most people's list. So when I talk about these areas, we're gonna talk about Dripping Springs ISD and we're gonna talk about Lake Travis ISD in regards to Lakeway. Now, let's keep in mind that Lakeway is a small area of this southwest area. You have around it, you have little cities like Bee Cave, you have Hudson's Bend, you have a lot of spots around this, the hills, that aren't technically Lakeway. For this video, we're going to encompass all of those areas. The same thing for Dripping Springs. You have part of Austin that is considered Dripping Springs in the ISD, but it's still an Austin address. Areas would be like High Point or Belterra, some of the most sought after neighborhoods. Before we get started any further, drop a comment below. Are these areas you've looked at buying in? Did you buy one of these areas? What do you like about these areas? Any information? Because you know what? Most people, when they watch these videos, they get a lot of good information out of it, but they read a lot of stuff out of the comments and they get information out of the comments. So your comments could help someone decide either to move to Dripping Springs over Lakeway. I don't know. We'll see. So the number one reason a lot of our clients reach out to us about these areas that want to work with us in these areas is they talk about the schools. So we'll talk about the schools last on this list and compare them last. But I'm going to go through and talk about what you're getting in each one of these areas. And then we're going to talk about homes as well, as far as price points, cost of living, all that good stuff. When people look at Dripping Springs versus Lakeway, obviously they don't want to be in Austin, they want to be outside of it. So one of the cons for both of these areas is really the drive time. If you're going to be living in more of like downtown Dripping Springs, so like Calatera, you're looking at about on an average day in traffic between 30 to 55 minute drive to downtown. The, one of the most popular areas in the Lakeway area is going to be Rough Hollow. Rough Hollow is the same thing. It's about a 55 minute or 30 minute, depending on traffic, drive to downtown. Realistically, they're the same. Now, the closer you live into Austin, the less that drive is going to be. But for example, like let's say you live in High Point or Belterra. That drive is usually going to be about 25, 30 minutes to downtown, depending on traffic. Whereas like if you lived in Serene Hills or maybe Bee Cave, which is a little more towards Austin, now you're talking about the same 30 minute drive. So the drives for the two are pretty comparable. One thing that our clients ask us about is just living. Well, in Dripping Springs, you are getting more of a small town feel. And so with that, you get more of the Founders Day Parade, you get more little music festivals and things like that. So you're getting more of a small town feel. When you look, go towards Lakeway, you're trying to live more of that lake life. And it is a lot busier in and around Lakeway. So if you're going up 620, there's more to do around that area. You know, depending on what you're looking at for Dripping Springs, there's a few less parks. Whereas if you go to Lakeway, Lakeway has more parks and then they have parks that actually touch the lake. So you can jump in the lake and things like that from the parks. So if you're looking at, you know, living the lake life a little bit more than the more, I wouldn't say country, but just more quieter life. I think Dripping Springs is a little bit more quieter life. When it comes down to the two and you're looking at things to do as far as like eating and things, I think there's a few less restaurants that you're gonna get in the Dripping Springs area. Now the Volterra Village definitely has a few really good restaurants. And if you go down towards Mercer Street, which is the old downtown of Dripping Springs, it's gorgeous. There's a really good restaurants over there, like Homespun, one of my favorites. What's cool about Homespun is usually like Friday, Saturday night, they'll have music outside. So really nice atmosphere there. And with Lake Travis, you just have more restaurants off 620. Obviously in the BK, you have the Galleria. So there's all, that's a huge shopping mall pretty much right there. You have Dick's Sporting Goods, you have Whole Foods, you have more of that. And in Lakeway, there's a Target. So there, there's just more in these areas. Now, if you're gonna compare Lakeway itself, Lakeway is a more of like a little golf community. The actual like city of Lakeway is more situated on a golf course. So you have that golf course, and then you go down a little bit further and you have Falconhead. So as far as that, you have more golfing to do, whereas Dripping Springs, there's less golfing. There's a lot more outdoor activities, but the reason why you're buying in Dripping Springs is you're wanting more space, more land. And part of Lake Travis ISD, it's off Hamilton Pool Road, you are getting large lots too. So you're looking at two, three acre lots. People are looking at one one acre lots. So that's when you're looking at, you know, some of these areas, you're not going to necessarily get a two acre lot 
for affordable price in Lakeway, but you might get a little bit more affordable lot with a larger space in Dripping Springs. The other thing between the two is Dripping Springs is more of hill country, so you get a little bit lower topography, whereas you're in Lake Travis, you're really on the hills there, so you get a lot more drastic topography, which means that you will get much better views in Lakeway, whereas in Dripping Springs, you'll get more hill country views, which are fantastic and gorgeous. You're just gonna get more undulation. I feel like looking at Lake Travis as a whole, it reminds me a lot more of like living in Southern California up off the shore, Rancho Santa Margarita or Irvine, places like that. That's what the vibe is a little bit more when you're looking at Lake Travis compared to the hill country. I mean, you get more of a Texas vibe with looking at Dripping Springs, just the easiest way to you know tell the two apart. Lakeway, you actually do have Baylor Scott and White Hospital where Dripping Springs, Seton is closer to South Austin. So that's a more of a drive depending on where you are. And there's more medical facilities in Lakeway as well compared to Dripping Springs just overall. Now Dripping Springs is growing pretty drastically. The infrastructure just isn't quite there. Now the complaint for both of them is that there's really no public access or no public transportation to get to either one. So it is a challenge getting to both Lakeway and to Dripping Springs. Now with Dripping Springs, you are getting more of the brewery lifestyle, more of the distillery lifestyle. What's great is there's a lot of these little pop-up breweries and distilleries where they have really good food with like these food trucks that are out there. One I can think of is Chingones, one of my favorite taco burrito places. And it's just a food truck on the side of the road. In fact, they opened a second one at a coffee shop called Fairlane. Great locations. You don't get that same vibe in Lakeway. It's a little bit more city and a little less country if you're going to depend you know look at the two that way both are fantastic for different reasons so before we talk about homes let's talk about schools because i'll talk about the cost of living when it comes to the homes so let's move to schools you've heard about the nightlife things to do not as much nightlife in dripping springs a little bit more in lakeway both are pretty quiet overall Lakeway is a little more hustle and bustle because you're off 620 a little bit more traffic out there although dripping springs does have traffic as well yet I get more of a North versus South Austin vibe between the two. South Austin seems to be a little bit more laid back where North Austin seems more hustle and bustle. And that's kind of what you get with Lakeway versus, or Lake Travis versus, you know, Dripping Springs. But let's talk about the schools. So one of the reasons why people are moving to these two areas or heavily considering these two areas are primarily the school districts. Dripping Springs on niche.com is rated an A plus. And as we look at this, the only low grades that it gets, number one, are for diversity and then sports are B plus. If we change and look at Lakeway, Lakeway's got pretty good scores across the board. It's rated an A, it's got a B minus in diversity as well, yet their sports are rated a little higher than Dripping Springs. Lake Travis does have highly rated schools. Now Dripping Springs is getting higher and higher rated. The football team just got what, division one now. So you're looking at a much better program out there and you're going to see a lot more growth because more people are moving to Dripping Springs right now. So the schools will definitely be better in sports shortly if that's what you're worried about. But look, both schools are rated really well. I don't know why Niche.com would give Lake Travis an A versus a higher grade and give Dripping Springs an A+. I do know reasons why we moved here is that I felt like there was more ability to have college prep classes for Dripping Springs when we were going between the two. But between Lake Travis and, and, and Dripping Springs, I think you're going to get really good schools overall. Now, do your due diligence when you're looking at the, you know, the differences. Keep in mind that Lake Way, Lake Travis ISD is still in Travis County, whereas Dripping Springs is in Hayes County. So Travis County is part of Austin, right? Austin is in Travis County, where Hayes is Dripping Springs is in Hayes, not part of Travis County. So if that's something you're worried about or looking at, there you go. When I go look at cost of living from bestplaces.net, what we notice about Dripping Springs and we notice about like Travis or Lakeway is that the prices for homes are pretty expensive. Now on here, it's giving me that the price, the median price for homes is 750 for Dripping Springs. I just ran the numbers for Dripping Springs and it's about 780 and Lake Travis, Lakeway is more about 840 to, to a million as the average. Whereas Dripping Springs is a little less. Now, the difference is Dripping Springs does have a couple communities that are under 500 being built. So you do have a little more affordability as far as that. If you look at the two side by side, they're both about 10 or 12% 
of homes on the market right now are below 500,000. So that means that not a, not a very big majority of the homes are under 500. A lot of the homes are closer to the million dollar price point. And when you're looking at both of these neighborhoods or areas, you are looking for more hills, newer, bigger, and that's what you're getting in both of these areas. Whereas if you're looking at the areas in Dripping Springs that are under 500, you're getting smaller lots closer to your neighbors things like that. So if you are looking for bigger lots, definitely Dripping Springs has bigger lots. Lakeway does as well. The negative that I've heard my clients, my buyer clients talk about when they compare the two is there's a few neighborhoods that they have see-through fencing. So it's going to be wrought iron fencing. And some people don't like that. Some people do because you end up walking out in your backyard and looking and seeing all your neighbors. So that's a negative. Now there are some Dripping Springs neighborhoods like Parton Ranch that, well, when I say Dripping Springs, I say Dripping Springs because it's in the ISD, but like Parton Ranch, you have see-through fencing. Reunion Ranch, another one that goes to Dripping Springs schools has see-through fencing. As Lakeway, it's a lot more neighborhoods have see-through fencing. So you are gonna see your neighbors if that's a pro or a con to you. When it comes to cost of living, Dripping Springs is well over the national average. If you put the national average at 100%, Dripping Springs is 145%. Now, if we look at Lakeway, it's 154%. So both are gonna be quite expensive to live in. I feel like you might be able to get more of those under 500 homes in Dripping Springs. The advantage of being in Lakeway is if you are wanting to buy a home on the water, you can. But as I'm showing right here, if you want a home on the water, you are looking at two, three, four million dollars. I have clients right now that are trying to find homes that are brand new or closer to new, under that $5 million price point on the water, and it's different. You, you're not gonna find it. You're finding more like 1990s homes, 80s homes, some that have been remodeled. Yet, what you're getting though with this area is it's nice because you have Lake Travis on one side, and on the other side, you have Lake Austin. So Lake Austin's more of a, a river, if you will. It is a lake, constant level lake. Whereas Lake Travis, you will have differences in the levels. Sometimes islands is out there. And what that means is sometimes when the lake's full, you can't see it, but when the lake is dropped, you see the island. And right now out in Lake Way, if you are trying to buy on Lake Travis, the water level's really, really low, and you're not getting a lot of those lake views. Now that might be an opportunity to buy a home now and the lake refills, then you have lake views in the future. Use that to your advantage. That's what we have on some of the offers we've written for our clients. But when we look at this, some of the neighborhoods that people are really moving to are Provence, right? Provence, Provence is one that we've had a lot of clients buy in. Now, it's not technically Lakeway, but it is Lake Travis ISD, and it is on the other side of 71. You do get really good views. Some of the ones that we've really had clients enjoy are Falcon Head. Falcon Head's a great one. Serene Hills is a phenomenal Lakeway neighborhood. You have Vista Royal out there, which is fantastic. You have Sienna Hills, which is getting closer to Austin. So I'd say the south part of this Lake Travis ISD. But then you have Lake Way. The Lake Way neighborhood really is on a golf course, which is nice. People like that if you want that golf course lifestyle. And then you have Apache Shores. Now, Apache Shores isn't really considered Lake Way. It's Lake Travis uh, ISD. But in here, you do get more rolling hills. You will get some great views. And potentially, you can get a home on Lake Austin in the $5 million price point. And then Rough Hollow is one of those neighborhoods that everybody's looking at because it is on the lake, you have a lot of amenities, the HOA is high, the tax rate has come down a little bit, so I'm not as high on the tax rate there, as cranky about the tax rate when it comes to Rough Hollow. You have a lot of amenities in Rough Hollow, so a lot of people are looking at Rough Hollow for that reason. You know, you're getting homes in the million dollar price point, 3,500, 4,000 square foot homes, and beautiful homes. If you want more information about this and you wanna take us on as your agent, definitely reach out and we'll give you more information about this. Now, if we look at Dripping Springs, the neighborhoods that people are looking at are, Headwaters is one of those neighborhoods with kind of tight roads, but it has a lot of homes going in there and it has some good amenities. The pool is really nice. It's a great neighborhood. You can get a newer home and a lot of people are looking in there. High Point, beautiful neighborhood. They're not building in there anymore, but you're getting larger lots, 80 foot lots, bigger homes. You're looking at more. You can get on the low end in there, about 650,000. Yet, if you're going to get a really nice 3,000 square foot home newer, you're looking at 900 to over a million. Another neighborhood everybody loves is Belterra. Belterra and High Point are still Austin addresses, but they are in Dripping Springs and then they are Hayes. They're in Dripping Springs schools and they are in Hayes. But Belterra is one of those that people like because it has the Belterra village. Calatera, 
is a great neighborhood. Calatera is fantastic. Now, there's a lot of other great neighborhoods out there. If you are wanting to work with us, reach out. We'll give you more information about the neighborhoods. But the, the reality is you're going to be in Dripping Springs for a 3,000 square foot home. You're probably going to be in the 800 price point in there with a 30 minute drive to downtown. Whereas in Lakeway, 800 might not get you as much. What do you think about this? Do you think Lakeway or Lake Travis ISD is going to be better than Dripping Springs or Dripping Springs is better? I personally moved to Dripping Springs, so I'm a little biased when I say this, but you drop a comment, we'll hear from you.